Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. From this video session guys, we are going to start a new playlist of WordPress called WordPress Hooks Tutorial for Beginners and this is our part 1. So because this is our first part, so in this video session, we will make some basic points of Hooks Tutorial called Introduction, about the terms definition called Hook, Action and Filters, as well as we will see about the syntax to declare about Action Hooks and Filters and we will see some examples of that. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our other playlist to get the clear concept about WordPress customization. So basically guys, if you are new to this channel, then basically these are the playlists you actually find about Online Web Tutor where we have provided several resources about WordPress tutorial. Okay, you can get maximum customization options from here. So from this video session, we are going to add a new playlist to this video series called WordPress Action Hooks. Okay. So the first question comes in our mind guys that what is action hook, what is filter hooks and basically what are hooks in WordPress. Okay, so I have some definitions for those. So what is hook in WordPress? A hook is a generic term in WordPress that refers to places where you can add your own code to change that what WordPress is doing or outputting by default. Two types of hooks exist in WordPress called actions and filters. So basically what this definition says, it says that suppose we want to execute our own code on the plugin activation, on our theme activation or our admin initialization or several types of actually WordPress provides some of the core action hooks and filters where, you, where actually we can execute our own code. Okay. Let's suppose that if you go to admin setter panel, this is our WordPress setup. Okay. So if we want to add our admin menu pages so basically by using action hook called admin menu we can execute or add a menu page right here we can make dynamic tables while plugin initialization we can make dynamic tables too if we want to add admin any option inside this admin bar menu we can add we want to add our skin options to this list we can add so there are various types of action hooks and filters actually WordPress provides to execute our own custom code by any outputting any places any particular conditions okay so basically if suppose we have created several posts in our WordPress setup there are thousands of posts okay and we want that some actually the post has some title we want to modify those title okay so without means writing their static value so how can we modify their outputting value dynamic dynamically okay so by using filter hooks guys in WordPress we can actually alter we can modify the value of WordPress outputs okay so basically the WordPress provides two types of hooks called action hooks and filter hooks basically by using these two hooks guys we can actually alter modify the WordPress data flows okay so basically what is action hook so action hook in WordPress is a hook that is triggered at a specific time when WordPress is running and lets you take an action this can include things like creating a visit when WordPress is slicing or sending a tweet when someone publishes a post so basically guys action hook says that suppose we want to execute our own custom action means suppose we want to actually create a visit when the plugin or the WordPress inslices okay so there are multiple functions in WordPress actually used to create a visit okay and also if you want to send a tweet we want to add some post to social networking site when our when suppose any user publishes a post okay so, so those actions are custom actions and these custom actions actually we can execute in our WordPress setup by action hooks okay so far in our plugin development series guys actually you have noticed that if you want to create any admin menu pages so by using admin menu add menu page or add some menu page actually we have executed our own custom actions to add our dynamic menus and sub menus and also we have seen that we want to create dynamic tables while plugin installation so on the plugin activation we have created dynamic tables so these are called custom action hooks these are called action hooks in WordPress basically those are the actions which actually we want we want to implement while the plugin in slices WordPress in slices or on the theme activation so here we can understand is that an action in WordPress is a hook that is triggered at a specific time when WordPress is running so this is all about guys what is action hook okay so basically let's move to what is a filter hook so basically if you want to alter some data means if you want to make output of our content of our post or any of the output means for the data alteration if you want to modify any data before output so by the help of filter hook we can actually modify our 
data okay so basically definition point of view of uh, filter in WordPress allows you to get and modify WordPress data before it is sent to the database or the browser okay suppose if you want to save some data to our database okay uh, but we want to modify that data before saving to database or before output to the browser so we can modify those data's by using filter hook okay so some examples of filters would include customizing how experts are displayed or adding some custom code to the end of a blog post means while adding any data to our database or before output to the browser we want to make some add some custom code to that value okay so we can actually alter that value by using filter hooks okay so we can actually here we can understand is that WordPress provides two type of hooks to alter data or provide any executing our custom actions so basically we have two hooks first is called action hooks and second is called filter hooks action hooks basically used to execute our own custom actions and the filter hooks basically used to alter data this is related with actions and this is related with data so basically guys I have two links of WordPress documentation so here is the link that is for our action hooks okay so if I copy that go to browser open any window so here I have opened guys as we can see that this is the action references where a WordPress provides lots of definitions lots of action hooks actually it provides okay we will study only the important things that actually we need to develop while plugin while theme because several actions actually we can find that deprecated for the latest version of WordPress okay so we actually study about the important action hooks in WordPress setup okay so if you go to slides next is the link of called filter hooks so if I copy this link go to browser open a new window so here we can find that the WordPress provides this list of filter hooks okay we can study about the important sections because there are several filter hooks actually deprecated to our latest version okay so if you go to slides now next we have a question that how can we declare our action hook and the filter hook in our WordPress documentation or WordPress development okay so if you go to next slide so this is syntax to hook WordPress action basically by using function this is a WordPress function called add action okay so by using WordPress function called add action we can initialize or create our own custom action okay this is for the hooking of action hooks okay here is the hook name that we have to specify here is the callback function here is the priority and here is the app accepted arguments so if we move to the documentation of WordPress so just go to browser here is the link guys that I have opened called webdeveloper.wordpress.org slash reference slash function slash add action okay so basically this is a WordPress function used to hook up our custom actions okay used to hook up our action hooks so if we scroll down here we can find that the, about the parameter details the first parameter is called the hook name okay so here we can find about the well documentation of function called add action okay this is about the description and this is about the parameter details okay so in the first parameter guys we have to pass called the hook name so basically if you want to add our custom menu page right here so inside this case we have to pass called admin menu okay admin menu is the hook name actually WordPress provides okay in the second parameter we have to pass the callback function basically by specifying or by satisfying this condition on that specific condition this function will fired okay and this is called the priority about the execution of this priority function okay at what priority this function will be fired this is decided by this parameter okay and also how many parameters actually this function supports this parameter details we have to pass right here okay so this is about the accepted arguments okay so we can find all details right here inside this well documented okay so next we have to see about the syntax of filter hook okay so basically to use the filter hook we need to declare by using called add filter in the same case we have to specify our tag name means about the filter name okay so let's suppose that if you want to uh, alter the data of title section means we have created multiple posts let's say the thousand of posts okay we want actually to modify the data before output to the browser or before save to the database so by using the title actually we can modify or alter the title section of our data okay so here is the callback function needs to specify actually runs while specifying this condition okay and this is the priority same as we have discussed and this is for the accepted arguments for this callback function okay so if you go to the browser 
so this is the documentation or about the parameter details of add filter okay this is also a WordPress function so you can find about the will documentation of right here okay so we actually use all these called add action and add filter from our later video session where we have discussed about the several filter hooks and action hooks and we can see that how we can use those hooks and actions and filter or alter our data okay so just back to slides so we have guys many of called action hooks and the filter hooks okay so basically as i have written some action hooks and filter hooks called called admin in q scripts okay and here is something called oh okay, duplicate so just remove that or let's say sad wp in q scripts okay so this is admin q scripts suppose if you want to implement or add our style sheets or js files to our code okay so this is for the admin section if you want to add our js files and the style sheets files to our admin panel so by using this action hook we can actually add those to that and if you want to implement those files at the front end section we have to use this action hook if you want to make our custom menu page so this is called the action hook okay if you want to do something at the wordpress installation so this is the action hook basically specifying those conditions okay so there are multiple options guys we have called action hooks by satisfying these condition we actually hook or run our custom code okay so all these details guys we will study about our later video session okay so if i scroll down so these are called filter hooks if you want to suppose modify the title section of every post so by using filter hook called the title we can modify or alter data before save to database or before output to the browser okay by using the content we can modify the content of our post or page section okay so by using these filter hooks guys we can actually modify or alter our data by using action hook we can actually hook up our custom code to our wordpress setup so basically guys this is our first video session so in this video session we have discussed about the introduction what is hook what is actions and what is filters and also we have seen that what actually syntax that we have to declare to define our action hooks and the filter hooks also we have seen about some examples of that okay so i think guys that i have made much more clear concept about action hooks and the filter hooks about the next video session we had discussed about these action hooks and see what actually those roles how it works and how actually we can declare these action hooks with our custom functions okay all these things we had discussed in our next video session okay so in this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day